In a significant display of advancing defense capabilities, the Ministry of Defense ceremoniously handed over a considerable number of strategically important Martyr Abu Mahdi al muhandis long-range cruise missiles to the Navy and the Islamic Revolution Guard Corps IRGC, Navy. The momentous event took place in the presence of commanders of the armed forces, marking a new milestone in Iran's commitment to strengthening its missile and defense prowess. Speaking to reporters during the ceremony, Brigadier General Mohammad Reza Ashtiani, Iran's defense minister, shed light on the technical and tactical aspects of the Abu Mahdi long-range cruise missile. He underscored that the induction of this sophisticated weapon aligns with Iran's defense doctrine and aims to enhance its maritime defense capabilities significantly. According to him, the Abu Mahdi missile system is a strategic and unparalleled addition to Iran's arsenal, boasting an impressive range of 1,000 kilometers, a substantial upgrade from previous maritime defense capabilities. General Ashtiani emphasized that the missile's pinpoint accuracy, formidable destructive power, and capability to navigate geographical obstacles at low altitudes set it apart from conventional systems. Notably, the Abu Mahdi missile is equipped to confront electronic warfare and evade radar detection, utilizing artificial intelligence to chart its optimal flight path. With mass production of this cutting-edge system, Iran will gain the ability to target enemy mobile sea assets from its homeland's grounds and vessels in concealed locations, enabling swift and decisive elimination of adversary ships, frigates, and destroyers. The Minister of Defense attributed the successful development of this advanced missile to the collaborative efforts of diligent scientists, specialists from the Ministry of Defense and Defense Industry, and key military branches, such as the General Staff of the Armed Forces, the Naval Forces, and the IRGC Navy. The concerted efforts of these entities, along with contributions from Iran's knowledge-based companies, have resulted in a formidable weapon that promises to bolster the nation's defense prowess. Brigadier General Mohammad Reza Ashtiani reaffirmed Iran's commitment to innovation and localization in supporting its armed forces. These advancements, he emphasized, are aligned with Iran's pursuit of peace, friendship, and regional stability, aiming to safeguard the security of the region. The addition of the Abu Mahdi al-Muhandis long-range cruise missiles to Iran's naval forces heralds a new chapter in the nation's maritime defense capabilities, solidifying its commitment to ensuring peace and security in the region. Meanwhile, according to Deputy Defense Minister Brigadier General Qasem Takizadeh, the main feature of the Abu Mahdi cruise missile is that it can be fired from deep waters. Soon, the Navy will be equipped with this missile, and the security of the water borders of 1,000 kilometers will be provided. With a clever move in using the cruise missile platform against the ground targets of the Samar family, Iranian defense specialists succeeded in developing the Abu Mahdi long-range anti-ship cruise missile. The use of previous platforms, such as the one used in the Haveza missile, reduces R&D costs, including design, construction, testing, and production process time.
Salmer and Haveza cruise missiles, with a range of 1350 km, and Meshkat, with a range of 2000 km, of which no picture has been released yet, are among Iran's ground cruise missiles. These missiles were originally designed for long range, so just by changing their targeting system and using active radar for marine cruise missiles. Change the type of warhead to a special type for anti-ship operations. and the elimination of ground cruise missile navigation and guidance systems Turkum and DSMAC, and the use of integrated GPS INS navigation, made it possible to achieve an anti-ship cruise missile with a similar range. This technical possibility became a reality with the Abu Mahdi missile in practice, and a range of over 1,000 km was achieved for Iranian anti-ship missiles. This increased Iran's ability to defend its coasts early against enemy attack vessels threefold. Abu Mahdi missile uses a turbojet engine from the Tulu family, which has a long and solid history of operation in carrier drones and cruise missiles of the newer Kader and Qatar families. Due to the appropriate thrust control capabilities of this type of engine and sufficient fuel that can be placed in the larger body of the new cruise missile, as well as the type of wings, the Abu Mahdi missile can fly at a variety of speed ranges.